Hello. Today's video is going to give you some practical tips on how to work Power Teacher Gradebook, specifically focusing on, of course, Tingsboro Public Schools. What are we going to look at today? We're going to look at how to create categories, how to weigh categories for a one trimester class, how to weigh categories for a two trimester class, and how to, quote, check the box for the final grade in a two, to two trimester class. So if we come down to our gradebook app, slide that back up, we have our default screen here. I have one student in this section. In order to set up our grades, we're going to go to grade setup right up here, reporting term, and we're going to double click that. Gives you this dialog box. You have three options. Most people choose category weights. You can do total points, but I'm going to show you how to do it with category weights. Now we have to choose our categories. Down here, you can see at the bottom, there's add category. We're going to click on that. I'm going to choose three categories. Homework, participation, and tests. And OK, and there they pop up. Now I'm going to weigh them. So homework's going to be worth 20%. Participation worth 20% and the test grade is going to be worth 60%. That equals 100%. So now all of your grades for trimester one are going to go into these categories. And that is going to help you determine what the grade is. Now, when you move to trimester two, if it is a two trimester class, we have to add another category. I always add it early rather than late. So when you start your trimester two class, go back, go through the same routine, go to category weights, set up your categories, and then add one more category. Down here to add category, and I'm going to add something called, I may try one. Okay. So this is something you would do at the beginning of trimester two, or the second trimester of a two trimester course. Now, we have to give this weight. It's going to end up being 50% of their final grade. And that's why we create this try one category because in order for us to do, calculate the final grade for a two trimester class, we need to factor in trimester one. And the only way we can do that is using this method. So trimester one is going to be worth 50% of the final grade, which means the rest of my categories for trimester two are going to be half of what they were for trimester one. So homework is 10, participation is going to be 10, and the tests are going to be 30. So now you have these categories all set up. And again, this is for the second trimester of a two trimester class. Now I want to show you, I'm going to revert out of this so I don't make any changes. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the long run on your uh, for your class so i'm going to revert out of this now i'm going to go to a new class actually we'll go to, go to the score sheet here i'm going to go to a new class i'm going to show you one of my old classes from way back when so this is trimester one of 2016 2017. now as you can see all of my students and here are all of my assignments uh, the various colors show you the different weights but if you look at the end Okay, we go all the way to the trimester exam. There is the exam grade, and this here is their final grade right here. Now, if I go to trimester two, now I have all of my assignments, everything I've done just like the way I did before. I've got this, there's no exam uh, because we use, used a research uh, paper here. But now you notice this category, try one. And the try one grades here are the final grades from what these students got in trimester one. But now we're in trimester two. Well, how does that affect a trimester two grade? Well, what you need to do is when you first set this up in trimester two, see this little box down here saying include and final grade, you are going to deselect that box. Because as you calculate your trimester two grades, you don't want to factor in the trimester one score. 
you don't want to have that factoring into their progress reports or their report card grade for trimester one. So if you watch, watch here, as I deselect, the grades will change. And I hit save, the grades change. So this is their true trimester two grade, and that's the way it should be for the entire trimester until you get the notice from uh, school counselors or the administration to, quote, check the box. And what they mean is you're going to go down here, you're going to open up trimester one, you're going to come down here, and you're going to check the box that says include in final grade. This means they have already stored the grades for trimester two. Now they are trying to calculate the final grades. Once you check the box and hit save, again, these scores now reflect all of the trimester one, trimester two grades that you've put in plus the trimester one grade. So now they can calculate a two trimester course, a final grade for a two trimester course. Kind of complicated. It's the way it has to work with Power Teacher Gradebook. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with me at thomas.varnum at tingsboropss.org or you can hit me with Google Hangouts. Hope this helps and good luck in trimester two.